morning love muffins how is everybody doing this a.m i'm up it ain't early early but i'm up <laughs> y'all hit that snooze boy and kept it moving <laughs> the snooze button is my friend and forgive me if y'all hear my robo back going in the background i got german shepherd when i tell you she's going through her blowout i'm so sick of her in this fur i'm over it I'm so over it. So that's my robot back y'all here in the background. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let's really let me on here today to talk about some things first. The biggest, the biggest misconception in religion is that God is a man and the devil is a man. But in reality, the black woman is the God and the Caucasian woman is the devil. Okay, that's what we go. There we go. I'm like, damn, that's close. Um, oldest bones ever found. I want to say 400 million years old or 40 million. I know it was four in there somewhere. And they had the nerve. And it was a, of an African-American woman, a Nubian queen. Okay. I was pissed off though. They had the nerve to name her Lucy. And then in the movie Lucy, they built what? Scarlett Johansson. They know if they had to put Angela Bassett in that motherfucker, it would have been a done deal. <laughs> but yeah, that is the bis big misconception. And I just feel uh, sorry for a lot of um of our men who got, got caught up in the hype. And are really and truly out here in real time defending the devil you know they have power here well a little bit of power in oh grab this book i love it this and sacred woman that's in my room that book is amazing any women that are on their spiritual journey any women that are um really trying to heal that book is amazing it has so many beautiful um, aspects to it. Um, but yeah, they have power here, but spiritually they have none. See, with this whole um, cycles changing and a lot of things closing out, a lot of divine feminines have activated their divine masculines. And when they got whipped for that, they like, oh shit, she's the one, let's go after her. But... Um, that was the setup, boo boo. <laughs> we knew you would come after us, and I'm not just talking. I'm not talking about myself personally. I'm talking about divine feminines all over the world who um, understand who they are and understand the power they, that they possess on a spiritual level. We knew we could take whatever work you sent to us. That y'all were so busy concentrating on us that y'all left our masculines alone and we needed them to be alone so that they could heal from all the trauma of being with you. But anywho, I love this robo back. I got to get the one that, that mopped too. <laughs> In real time. I swear I love it. Because with her, I would literally have to vacuum like three, four times a day. And ain't nobody got time for that. I got too much shit on my plate. But um, the robot pack is bomb. <laughs> I'm loving that. Okay, I'm going to say my prayers real quick to um, the Orishas. And then I'm going to get into a reading real quick because I do got to get out on this road. I think I'm going to do a little medley today. Uh, I don't think it's just going to be what I usually do. I think I'm going to dabble in the other jobs that I have too today. I should have got up and did one at three this morning, but eh. Um, says, may my descendants continue to lead and protect me. May Allegua open the doors of opportunity and remove obstacles from my path. May Ogun provide me courage to overcome my problems and defeat my enemies. May Oshasi bring justice and balance to my life. May Orunmila bestow his wisdom upon me. May Obatala bring peace, tranquility, and harmony to my life. May Babalu heal my body and my soul. May Alokun give strength to my being. 
May Yemiya renew and refresh my life with the powers of her waters. May Shango give me the strength to fight and win my battles. May Oshun fulfill my dreams of love and riches. And may Oya bring her winds of change and prosperity to my space. Gratitude. All right, y'all. Let's get off into this. Let's see what we got going on today. Oh, let me see. I feel like I want to do the African goddesses. Let's see. No, I think I'm going to start with Soul's Journey. Then I swing back to the African goddesses. I'm going to try not to make this one too long. I say that every time. It'll always be a whole hour. <sighs> That's incense smells so good. Oh shit, what was that? Oh, we got self esteem in the upright. Okay. I'm digging that. I possess gifts of the souls that benefit me and others. Indeed. Your gifts, that's the true riches right there. That is the true riches right there. Man, I'm grateful for mine. I'm glad I surrendered to mine. But ever since I was a kid, I've been tapped in. I remember when I lived in California, I used to have to walk to this I walk to school alone <laughs> at like five. No, probably it was like seven. But one day I decided to take a shortcut through the alley, through this alley, and it was like you know warehouses and. You know, my instincts was like, don't go down that bitch. But I'm like, no, oh, if I go down there, you know, I get I get home faster. Eat some cereal, watch cartoons or something, right? <laughs> so I'm walking through the alley, you know, taking my little time. Little seven-year-old me. Don't ask me why I was walking alone at seven. <laughs> I feel like I was always alone as a kid. I was a felt, always felt like an outcast. I always told my, I, like, I told my mom one day, I'm like, I, I'm adopted. I, like, I, because everybody else in my family dark skin, I'm the only one that's yellow like this. And I'm like, mm, no, nah, I'm adopted. <laughs> my brother's mad as shit. Stop saying that shit. No, real talk. Like, that's how I felt. And I think it was because of my gifts. Yeah, I never really felt like I fit in. I never really wanted to. But I'm walking down the alley, and then, like, literally, something was like, run. So I take off down the alley. I get to the end of the alley, and I look back, and a man comes stepping from in between the building. Look down at me. I look down at his ass like, mm, yeah. From that point on, I always knew to trust my fucking instincts because it ain't going to never steer me wrong. But you be in a society where people teach you not to trust yourself because they want you to trust them. But then when you trust them, they fuck you over. <laughs> Tragic. Oh, we got health in the upright. Okay. We got relationships in the upright. Oh, and we got peace in the upright. Okay, some good energy today. Let's go. Let's go. Say I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. Indeed, return the sender. Relationships. I am attracted to to I am attracted to those who serve my higher good. Oh, that's how you know when you heal, baby. Ooh. And God says, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that ain't too loud. Mm. Self-esteem. We got the devil in reverse. Oh, so somebody is getting rid of their toxic ways. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, and for relationship, we got the six of wands. We got victory. Um, we got the four of cups in reverse. So somebody doesn't feel like they missed an opportunity. Mm. 
Oh, somebody is getting rid of the toxicity. That is beautiful. Somebody is getting comfortable with themselves. Know thyself. Man, tell you all, I say it all the time. People can tell you everything there is to know about Jesus, but the people don't even know their blood today. Okay, look, I ain't move around. Damn. This thing be sounding like somebody breaking in this motherfucker. I be forgetting to be going sometimes, not be in my room. And then it come to the door and just like, boom, boom. And like, what the hell? Like, it made me up thing on the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> in real time. All right, so what we got? Mm, we got the high priestess with the self-esteem and no toxicity. Okay. So we got the two of cups in the upright, victory in a union with relationships. Okay. I'm liking this energy. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh, magician. Somebody is manifesting their peace. Okay. Somebody is really working hard at being in a positive energy. Mm, okay. Let's check again. Yeah, he had like, yeah, he all sounded like a burglar in this bitch. Okay, so it's for self-esteem. Oh, boy. We got the devil in reverse, and then we got the high priestess, and then we got the ten of swords in reverse. So, with this, I feel like somebody was trying to send negative energy to a high priestess. Um, even death spells, or either they was trying to kill a high priestess in real time, but that shit backfired. Like, you can't pull that on somebody that is healed you can't pull that on somebody that has deep knowing they vibrate too high oh this queen of pentacles is trying to manipulate somebody's peace they trying to they want somebody to be in this energy but that came out in reverse so whatever she's doing to try to manipulate the situation is just not working with that four of cups in reverse. What's this over here with this? Yeah, they tried to... <laughs> they wanted the high priestess to be with a head in the clouds and confused. The high priestess would never be confused. The gifts that she possesses, she will always be able to read people energy places like this is the type of person that can go like down south where a lot of atrocities happen and she will be able to feel like just the energy of the of the land so this is not somebody that you can confuse this is not somebody that you can betray this is not somebody that you can be in um she's not materialistic this is not a person that um is in that that operates in a lower frequency. That's why the devil is in reverse because this high priestess just does not do that. Everything this person does is out of is out of, is a for uh, the benefit for herself as well as well as other people. And we could be a high priest too. So, um, for this for the relationship in the upright, we got the Knight of Pentacles. So someone wants to take an offer to someone. They move kind of slow, but they want to. And they and this relationship isn't going to have any conflict. 
It ain't gonna have no jealousy, no competition, no like it's like with this snake on here, it's like they're gonna be entwined. They're gonna be able to like read each other. It's gonna be this is like literally not even have to speak what you want and or need in a relationship because the two people are gonna be so entwined with one another that they gonna just know. Oh, that's dope. That is fire. <sighs> shit. Well, whatever this Queen of Pentacles did to try to manipulate some shit and try to destroy somebody's peace, it got her ass finna be locked up or either mentally, she's mentally tied up in her head about shit. Mm. Got to be more careful. Yeah, somebody has some misinformation about this high priestess. Somebody thought this high priestess priestess operated from low self-esteem. And that's why people felt like they could try this. They probably tried to seduce her with material shit. That shit didn't work. Since that shit didn't work, like, fuck that, we just got to kill her. That shit didn't work. Then, okay, we got to confuse her. That shit, it, shit didn't work. And then it's like, oh, she don't know what she's talking about. She ain't real. Yeah, nothing will be hidden in this relationship. Oh, I love this. This middle energy. I just want to take it up and take it and just put it in my pocket and walk around with it all day. It won't be no deception. It won't be no lies. It won't be no competition. It won't be no disharmony. And with this moon card in reverse, the relationship, there's, going to, there's nothing going to be hidden. Like, these people are going to be so transparent with each other. And I think that's going to be on a physical level as well as a spiritual level. This is... <laughs> I love energy like this. Thank the heavens, because last night I was so frustrated. I, I recorded two other readings last night, and I just could not. <laughs> I just could not. Yeah, she finna reap what she sow. Her ass going to jail for trying to, trying, for trying to disrupt somebody's peace. It's like this. When the gods see that somebody is really actively working and trying to heal their traumas, anybody that comes up against that is going to have fucking mad karma to pay. Because with this piece in the upright, this is somebody that is really and truly doing some soul searching and really trying their best to release any negative energy. And you got somebody here that is really just trying to manipulate that because they they need, I guess they need somebody to be in lower vibration. They're easier to take advantage of if they're not vibrating high. They're easier to take advantage of when they have low self-esteem. They're easier to take advantage of when they don't trust themselves. So this is somebody that is very manipulative. But with the peace and the upright and the eight of swords and this seven of pentacles, somebody is going to reap what they sow in a major way. Oh, somebody big mad and inside. <laughs> Somebody's trying to hide their rage at the high priestess. They boiling on the inside. Either they boiling on the inside or they ass got humbled real quick. And with this page of wands, I feel like somebody was like, oh, she don't know what she's talking about. She don't know what she's talking about. And then whoever this high priestess is says some shit that went and set a motherfucker down because it was truth in real time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This couple, once they come together, they ain't fucking with nobody from their past. That shit fell right, right. They ain't fucking with nobody from their past. Give me one more on this Queen of Pentacles, bitch. Queen of Pentacles. Like, well, why would you want somebody to be in the Four of Cups? They say misery loves company, and that's the vibe that I'm getting from this. I feel like somebody is miserable. I feel like somebody's trying to sit up like, they, like they're the Queen of Pentacles, and like they have it together. But in real time, this person is in the Four of Cups, so they want somebody else to feel that. I feel like this is a person that um, pacifies themselves. 
with money and with things and with, you know, things that make your flesh feel good, but things that don't feed your spirit. Who want this Queen of Cups spirit? Queen of Cups? Hmm. I don't know why I want to feel like she may be a preacher. A manipulating preacher. <laughs> a manipulate, and this is it's gonna be a special, it's gonna be a special karma for a person like this. If you are sitting in a position where it is your job to lead people to salvation and healing and you are being manipulative and you want somebody to be the opposite of that, then you're nothing but a devil in the pulpit. You're a devil in the pulpit. Yeah, somebody ain't got no choice but to walk away from the high priestess because they see they can't play with her. 21, 21 on the clock as I say that. Somebody tried everything they could to try to discredit this high priestess. And at the end of the day, you ain't got no choice but to walk away because somebody sees that whatever she's speaking is straight facts. Straight like that. Oh, yes. Ace of Pentacles. This couple, I'm loving it. <laughs> they are going to be abundant when they cut off these people from their past. Or they're going to be abundant when they come together. And then this is not saying that each one is not abundant separately because people think when you say abundance you automatically assume um finances but there's so many other ways that you can be abundant like this high priestess is abundant in spirit the gifts that she possess she's the only car in the upright and the eight of cups she's in the upright and somebody walking away is in the upright all the rest of these cards are in reverse that means that this high priestess is powerful no weapon and no weapon formed against me shall prosper is what I'm getting from this because somebody threw everything at this person. They lied on her. They tried to come at her with rage and anger. They tried to confuse her. They tried to kill her. They tried to um, man manipulate her with material things. And she didn't fall for none of that shit because all that shit is in reverse. When you got high self-esteem and you understand who the fuck you are and you know who the fuck you are, God, ain't none of this stuff going to ever, ever be able to touch her. Or him, because this could be a high priest as well. You know, gender does not matter in tarot. Because you can, you can, it, it, that's the trick is to try to balance your masculine and your feminine. That's why I love Prince, because Prince understood duality. He understood that I know I got a part of me that's a woman. I know I got a part of me that's a man. Let me honor them both. Now, I ain't saying go walk around in this motherfucking no frilly shirts and no shit, but just emotionally understand that you can carry either. Just like when somebody try to come to me with conflict, I think to myself, do I want to hit them with some masculine or do I want to relax in my divine feminine on a motherfucker? Now, luckily, you know, I've grown spiritually because back in the day, I throw a punch in the heartbeat. Today, ain't none of that popping unless you walk up on me like you want that smoke. And trust me, you don't want that smoke. You don't want none of that smoke. Because once I start smoking, it's going to be weed smoke, barbecue smoke, forest fire smoke, motherfucking <laughs> blunt smoke. It's going to be all the smoke. But anyway, these people are going to be abundant. God has got the heavens are going to bless whoever these two people are. Congratulations, babies, because this is some beautiful energy. Yeah, defeated. Yeah, whoever this preacher is, she's defeated because as she know I'm speaking all facts, you're a devil in the pool, pit, boo. And, and, and woo, baby. Your karma gonna be stiff and just. Dang, I kind of don't even want to pull out of this energy. I really don't. <laughs> Even though people was trying, trying like a motherfucker to betray this high priestess. One, two, three, four, five times. And it did not work. <laughs> I love this vacuum cleaner, I swear. <laughs> 
Okay, I wish somebody invented something that can do dishes and run this bitch. <laughs> no, it don't be nobody in this bitch but me. So shit. And I barely be in this motherfucker eating out if unless I get a day off. <sighs> oh, but then I did say I was gonna put some chili in my damn slow cooker. Or some fucking oxtails. I do got some of those. I've been wanting to do those lately. Okay. It's just a vacuum poop. Mm. <laughs> the emperor jumped out here. Okay. Okay, so we got the emperor here. So this emperor didn't have no choice but to walk away from this high priestess because he realized that he was powerless. So he may have may, may have been the one that sent all this, tried to send all this drama. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh. Somebody go and sweep somebody out they feed. I'm loving it. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles defeated. Not wish fulfillment. Yeah, this emperor tried to have this high priest stuck with the hangman in reverse. That shit didn't work. All right, y'all. I'm going to pull out of this energy, although I really don't want to because it is so good. Uh, let's see. We got the Queen of Pentacles interrupting peace. We got a love connection that is going to be so strong that they can read each other's minds. And we got an emperor that had to retreat from the high priestess. Okay. Let me write that down. I keep saying I'm going to write shit down because I'll be forgetting what the title of the shit is. Uh, let's see. We had the Queen of Pentacles. Defeated. Trying to disturb peace. A love connection so powerful. Ooh. Somebody don't want me to write this. My pen just ran out. <laughs> oh. And then we got the emperor. And must we retreat from the high priestess? Okay, bam. All right, let's. That was a good start, y'all. <laughs> that was such a good start. I'm almost scared to go into another one. Because <laughs> I feel like those were good. Even, yeah, all three of those were good. All three of those was good. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Mm. Shit, that denial tried to pop out sideways, but I ain't gonna take it. Okay, spirit. I almost hit that. Can I keep the love energy? Can we keep that one? I want to keep that energy. Or I just let me bask in that in a little bit, and then send the other two back. I want. I want to carry that one with me like all day, <laughs> in real time. Love just slid out. Yes. <laughs> so no fear. No fear in reverse on the bottom. 
I damn near want to take that fear in reverse. Oh, yes. And then success. We're going to take that. <laughs> I'm loving it. I love doing readings that's uplifting. I love doing readings that talk of, of talks about like just love and honor and respecting each other. I love that. I love it. I know there is no greater goal than to love. Oh, that's for the first success. That's real success right there. And fear in reverse, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live and in the energy of love. Somebody is fearless. Somebody got some old show energy going on around here. That fear is love. And love says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Mm -hmm. Even the bad things you got to be grateful for because they literally bad. Mm. We got the temperance and the tower in reverse spirit is sending the tower back to somebody. That's balancing something out. Somebody going through a tower is balancing something out. Ooh, and somebody sad and confused. Y'all you know, hear that shit? That really be sounding like something like this. Rumble back is like breaking in. But my flow is look good as shit though. <laughs> I'm telling you, I gotta get that one that fucking vacuum, yo. Well, shit, I manifested that vacuum cleaner. I don't know if I told this story on another one, but I feel like it's so good. I might want to tell it again. I had some Uber passengers that I was doing private rides for. And they was living in a hotel. And I said, it, this is like around my birthday. I was teasing, telling my kids, like, I want a robo back. I want a robo back. That morning I woke up, I'm like, man, I want a robo back. I was just so over vacuuming. And I'm like, I need a robo back. I think I said that shit like three times. Like, man, I looked them up. Them bitches like 350. Like, damn, do I want to spend 350 on this shit? <laughs> do I want it that bad? <laughs> man, not even, I'm telling you, not even a half hour later, she called me. She was like, um, do you need a vacuum cleaner? She's like, it's the one that go by itself. I'm like, the robo bag? She's like, yeah, I'm going to send you a picture of it. Man, she sold me that bitch for $50. <laughs> That's how you manifest around this boy. <laughs> Say some shit with some emotion and mean it. Some good emotions. Okay? Because if you send it with some bad emotions, that shit just going to come back to you. Man. It's all in your intent. You send out things with good intentions, you're going to get good intentions. If you sneaky and malicious with your intentions, yeah, you're going to be the only motherfucker sad and pressed out here. Emotions. Yeah, it's a movement. All right, Spirit, give me one on this love. I saw that two of cups again. Give <laughs> me one on this love. Hmm. Shit, people are crazy. Love feels so good. I don't know why somebody want anything, but. Especially when you got a party where you here with it. Man, listen. That shit is fire. I saw that two cups again. That's crazy. Oh, this love spirit. Oh, the judgment under the bottle. Mm, somebody might have made a final judgment about some, about a love situation. Oh, shit. I'm telling you. Yeah. We got the ten of wands in reverse. Real love ain't gonna feel like no burden. Ooh, baby. With a woman, and this can be a man that can be in his Queen of Cups energy too. Like, don't get it twisted. Like I said, it's duality, but Queen of Cups, yes. That's a maternal figure. That is somebody that's not going to burden you. But we got to see what come out after that. Because, you know. Okay. Spirit said to put that with the fear in reverse. So, son, there's a woman here that loves fearlessly. Ooh, somebody was successful at beating they at slaying their demons. This may have been addictions as well. So if this is somebody that is get that is um rehabbing or you're um trying to do a cold turkey, like man, congratulations, because that is the hardest thing to do is to um I like to call it getting rid of the crutches. Okay. 
I don't speak from nothing that I don't know. Now, I've never been on drugs because I watched my my stepfather die from drug overdose. So I've never done drugs, but I used other things to pacify, you know, when I wasn't feeling great. Most of the time, it was sex. I'm going to keep it a buck with people that I was in a connection with, not no random motherfuckers. Let's be clear on that. These people that I was dealing with for years. But I realized as time went on that I was just using that as a crush wheel and I didn't feel good inside. I wanted to make my body feel good, but my mental still wasn't good. So to anybody that is going through, um, man, withdrawals or if you doing drugs, drink some nutmeg, mix some nutmeg with some water that will help with cravings. Um, if it's heroin or cocaine, I don't know if it works for cocaine or not. I know it definitely works for heroin, but, um, yeah, some nutmeg, just like a peach into a nutmeg and some water and mix it up really good. That should really help with, um, withdrawals. Um, but yeah, somebody is, was successful at slaying their demons. This could be, um, attachments to material things. This can be, um, like I said, obsessed with sex it could be obsessed with material things it could be like anything too much of anything can be toxic you know what i'm saying so it could be addicted to shopping it could be addicted to you know sex it could be addicted to drugs it could be addicted to just a certain feeling you know so congratulations to whoever this person is we're gonna send you some healing energy Cause that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm telling you, ten, ten. This is in, this is ending a cycle. Somebody is ending a cycle of constantly being burdened and constantly being betrayed. And this love could be actually, um, hmm, this love actually be could be connected to this success over here. Cause somebody is literally ridden their lives of burdens and betrayals. Damn, 1010 on out here. 10 wands and 10 swords, and they both in reverse. Yeah, yeah. This page of wands keep coming out in reverse. It's like somebody gave a lot of misinformation. Even in the last one, it was misinformation about the high priestess. Now it's misinformation about this queen of cups. But somebody doesn't have any fear anymore. Yeah, somebody is slaying their demons, man. This could have been a person that was rageful. This could have been a person that um, just mentally was just fly off the handle. Like didn't think through about their actions didn't think about consequences of their actions but we got this knight of swords in reverse and we got this devil in reverse so somebody is really and truly trying to ch chain up their demons somebody might have had an anger problem somebody might have um like quick to fly off the handle so somebody is really and truly working through a lot of because when people operate in these energies, the Knight of Swords and the Devil energy, this is usually due to trauma. So I feel like somebody is really going back and healing childhood wounds and trying to understand why they do the things they do and why they move the way they move. And with the success in the upright, somebody is successful at healing. Because this is a lot of healing in just these two cards. So congratulations to whoever you are. Send you love and light. Ooh. Telling you this high priestess with this love again. I'm telling you. Nothing will ever work. This person, a high priestess vibrates in love. That is the highest vibration on this planet. Nobody will ever be able to tend a sword, a high priestess, or burden a high priestess. The universe is going to make sure she vibrates so high in love that the universe is always going to make sure that she has what she needs. So she'll never be in the ten of wands. She would, you can't betray her. her. Her knowledge is too strong. She walks in love. Like she is uh, the personification of love with this Queen of Cups energy too. This fearless love energy too. 
this is a high priestess that's not only is she intuitive, not only does she have the gift, gift the gift of somebody don't want me to say this shit. Not only does she have the gift of sight, but with this Queen of Cups and this love card, like this is like love just overflowing from this person. The gods will always protect somebody like this. I'm loving it. Oh, somebody tried to, <laughs> somebody tried to scare somebody into not loving this high priestess is how I'm getting it because somebody gave somebody some misinformation and told the person that the high priestess was a devil that she didn't believe in God. But with this fear in reverse, I feel like somebody realized that that was bullshit. Yes. <laughs> somebody is slaying their de demons and, 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 and shattering the illusions. 4114, when I said that, Mira, this is somebody that is really working hard to... They they breaking down all the illusions. They trying to figure out inside of them why were they so full of rage? And they are really breaking addictions around here. I love it. <laughs> I love it. 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 Yeah. And not only is this high priestess slash queen of cups walking in love, she has a childlike spirit. <laughs> this is somebody that no matter how many times they were betrayed by somebody no matter how many times people tried to burden some be burden this high priestess slash queen of cups no matter how hard somebody tried that it just bounced back off of her and this person is still able to walk around in this childlike energy and just adventurous and still like still look at the world through like child like with a childlike energy. This is beautiful. Y'all gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh, y'all gonna make me cry because this is beautiful. Yeah, somebody lied about this high priestess because they was trying to hold on to somebody. They literally told somebody that this person, that this high priestess slash queen of cups slash um childlike energy was the devil you told you spoke that against a high priestess mm. that's kind of like saying that about god especially if this person walks in love and this person is fearless when it comes to love like and somebody literally told a lie and told somebody that this person was the devil just to try to hold on to them. Mm. Let's see. Damn. But I'm loving this. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Mm. Give me one more for the success spirit. What other things have this person overcame? Mm. <laughs> it's a victory. I'm going to take that for that one right there. Because that's love right there. Victory and success somebody is having at slaying their demons. Somebody ain't under no illusions anymore. Somebody is not enraged for any. They're not in lustful energy anymore. That is beautiful. Then you got this Queen of Cups slash High Priestess out here. This is the energy right here that maybe want to be damn near on the verge of motherfucking tears because it's so beautiful. To be to be able to um, have people try to send you through this and you still come out like this, you still come out intact. You got your spirit is still intact. <laughs> yeah i can relate i can relate in real time because shit 
for this motherfucking betrayal and reverse, I would need like 50 of these cards for all the fuck shit people done tried to do to me. And I still walk around like this man. Man, there's too many beautiful things in this world to let like dark energy or just people that are not healed like interrupt your, your spiritual growth. Well, give me one more on this. This is some good energy, y'all. I'm so happy. <laughs> I like to read doing readings that make me feel good, man. All that other shit be like, y'all can have it. <laughs> I want to walk around in all this fearless old shoe love, okay? I need some new cards. They just like tearing. Okay. I'm telling you, I said that this high priestess is protected. Her ancestors like get back, back up, <laughs> back up. <laughs> Shout out to Whitney, back up. <laughs> Yeah, somebody lied just to hold on to somebody and stop them from moving forward. <sighs> Give me one for the success spirit. I damn near want to leave it at the victory. I don't even want to go. Because I know that when somebody in this energy, like you know a hater coming. You, you, you can smell a hater coming a mile away. You can smell a hater coming a mile away. And that's why I want to kind of want to stop it right here. <laughs> 46, 46 on the clock as I said that. I'm going to stop it right here. We got this high priest, this last king, queen of cups walking around in this fierce Oshun energy. Love, energy. I'm loving it. We got somebody here that um, lied on the high priestess and said that she was the devil. Probably said she did voodoo. Probably a whole bunch of crazy stuff because they just didn't understand spirituality. And then we have somebody over here that is so successful at doing their healing work. So... Yeah. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Okay. Hi. Right. I'm a I look, I'm tempted not to even do no more because these energies are so good, but I feel like I want to do one more. I feel like I want to do one more. One more, one more. I see patience. Ah. Well, we got empathy popped out of there in the upright. Somebody is trying to, is open to seeing both sides of the situation. Yeah, blame popped out, but it popped out in sideways. And somebody may be considering not blaming someone for something we don't know exactly what. Or somebody's starting to see that somebody with this, I'm seeing both sides of the situation. I feel like in this blame sideways, I feel like somebody is starting to see something from someone else's perspective and that's making them not want to blame them for something. We got to see what that is. Yeah, with empathy, I feel like somebody's heart chakra is opening. Oh, somebody's growing spiritually. Give me one more spirit. Right, we got relationships on the bottom again. We delved into that energy already. So give me one more. Do you just y'all just want me to just do the blame and the empathy? Okay, so I'm just going to take blame and empathy right now. Oh, shit. Well, we had success, we had fearless love, and we had the high priestess in love. This thing is like right under my foot. I don't even... <laughs> Okay, here, you can go dodge. Shit. 
can't catch it. You're moving too fast. Yes, go dark. Don't come back here. You know what? There you go. Okay, we got blame sideways and we have empathy. And then the high priest is saying, <laughs> it's popping out. Yeah, I definitely got to get that one that bop too. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what's both sides of the situation are is somebody seeing? And what is somebody not blaming somebody for as well? Hmm, I might throw me some salmon on the grill. After I hit my goal for the day. Oh, shit. Give me one second, y'all. <laughs> Oh my God, this dragon blood. When I tell you that incense smells so damn good. <laughs> it smells so good. Damn. Thank you. The robo back. Okay, so what is someone having empathy for us with? My neighbor finally doing his porch. He, this porch been... <laughs> He ripped his porch down last summer. Oh shit, I gotta plant my garden. I'm so late. I need more soil. Somebody stole my damn watermelons out of my yard. I'm so pissed. Eh, they don't even know what they didn't even know what it was. Cause they had just started growing and they, they hadn't even bloomed flowers yet. But it's okay. I'ma replant. I need to rebuild my damn fire pit. So with empathy, we got the food card. So someone wants to take a risk. I don't know why I feel like this is going back to the last reading with um, someone lying to someone telling somebody that a person did voodoo or a person um, was not of the light. And I feel like this person is seeing things from a different perspective. And whatever they saw, it made them see both sides of the situation. It makes them want to take a risk with someone. Let's see. What's this blame spirit? Oh, shit. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm telling you. Somebody is seeing shit that with this higher fit in reverse, 5404 on the clock when I said this, somebody is not blaming the high priestess anymore because they realize that somebody lied to them and it's making them want to take a risk with this high priestess now wait i just saw her too you have two of pentacles in reverse yeah somebody's not confused anymore Give me one more on this empty thing. Give me one more on this empty. I don't know why I want to feel like somebody did. Like somebody. 
I don't know what I feel like that somebody is really delving into spirituality. And this may be somebody that with this hierophant in reverse, this is somebody that may have been very or in church a lot, probably their whole life, like most of us black people have been. Um, been in church their whole life. And I think that when they came across somebody that was into divinity and was into spirituality, it made them curious. So I feel like somebody is doing a lot of research on spirituality. That man is in his yard minding his own damn business. Give me one more on this empathy spirit. That high priestess keep trying to come out there. 55, 55 on the clock as I say that. This is this is real time. I feel like somebody is really doing a lot of research. I don't know why I see like somebody like sitting like at a desk and like God is like reading and taking notes and meditating and like somebody is I don't know what is this spirit? Oh shit. telling you so and this shit fell like right on this higher front in reverse and these are the same two cards that came out the last time it's like somebody don't want somebody to go nowhere and they all up in their head they want somebody wants to keep somebody tied up and in their head and confused and with that being with this higher front in reverse card i feel like Let me pull a couple more from that because what I'm picking up off that is somebody is realizing I feel like somebody is realizing that they were misled by a religious sector and it was all to keep them stuck and bound I think somebody, that's why this blame is sideways. Because I feel like somebody probably tried to make a person feel like whoever this person is in this childlike, empathetic energy was something that was not of the light. And I think somebody is starting to realize that what they thought was God was not God. And it was only to just keep them stagnant and stuck in their head. I feel like the same things, the same lies that somebody tried to tell a person about a high priest has turned out to be true about those people in real time. Mm. Give me something on this empathy spirit. Yeah, somebody. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if that seven of cups in reverse don't come out here because I feel like somebody is seeing through the illusions that someone tried to present like they were healed or like they were healers. I just seen that star in reverse and I feel like somebody knows that's why this blame is sideways. Say so I to accept responsibility for my well-being. So I feel like somebody is realizing that something that they were bound to spiritually was designed just to keep them stuck spiritually Tell you, something on this empathy spirit this over here is it's coming off real wicked yo manipulating i'm telling you yeah somebody's trying to manipulate somebody and trying to um pacify them with money but in real time this is how they felt under a religious sector like somebody was embarrassed somebody is in deep regret because whatever they were into 
spiritually just didn't work for them. Hmm. Damn. It's a special, it's a special place for you motherfuckers that got people thinking that they really and truly praying to God and y'all be in the background doing some wicked shit. The karma for you motherfuckers gonna be heavy. Can I get something on this empathy spirit? This energy over here is more dominant. Like, <laughs> what's with the empathy spirit? What? Does somebody have an empathy for? Or somebody's having empathy for this childlike energy. That's sad. I'm telling you, the judgment for this is going to be heavy. I'm telling you, somebody going to reap what the fuck they sow. Damn. I feel like somebody probably wanted to make somebody feel like all the 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 if if it was if it was bad stuff happening in their life that may put them in this energy, somebody tried to make another person feel like it was this empathetic childlike energy that was putting them in this space. When in actuality it was whoever they were following in this religious sector that was manipulating situations and causing people to be in the five of cups. And then they try to, damn, my nose is itching so bad. And then they tried to like manipulate the situation and make a person feel like it was this person that's in this lighthearted energy over here that was causing them strife and chaos. Damn, that's a dirty game. That's a dirty game. Something on this I hope this man know what he's doing. If not, that whole damn porch gonna come down. I see he got the support up there though. He doing that shit by himself. Shit, he should have called my home girl Janelle. Her husband is so cold with that shit. He would have been done with that motherfucker like four hours. I'm telling you, yeah, I knew it. Somebody tried to make a person feel like this empathetic, lighthearted energy was going to betray them. With that shit in reverse, that shit was a whole lie. Somebody sad as fuck because I exposed that shit, but it is what it is. That's what the fuck you did. Trying to praise persuade somebody that somebody else was like evil as fuck when somebody is literally in the background manipulating shit. Really the higher front and reverse in real time. Sounds like a Karen. What I just said at the beginning of this video. That bitch is heartless. And I just saw that fucking <laughs> I just saw that three of swords in reverse. Bitch heartless. Yeah, somebody tried to make somebody believe that this Queen of Cups energy was manipulating situations so to cause strife and drama in somebody's life. And that shit was the whole fucking opposite. You got the you got empathy and you got the Queen of Cups. This is somebody that is totally in tune with their emotions. And not only are they in tune with their own emotions, but they can this is the type of person that can look at a person one time and and just spiritually like read them and know what they need. And in this Queen of Cups energy, this person is, man, their ability to be able to see. I always use the term like, she saw into my soul. That's, that's the type of energy that I'm getting from this Queen of Cups. Like this Queen of Cups can literally look at somebody and, and just be able to read the trauma. Oh, shit. Come through, spirit. She can read the trauma. And with this childlike, this this uh, fool card with this childlike energy, I feel like this is a type of woman where babies are just naturally drawn to her. I feel like when this person goes out, like kids just randomly speak to her. Um, 
and somebody over here tried to make somebody believe that this person was the reason for all of they uh all the drama in their life. When she coming in with like the purest energy fucking ever. Ooh, we. Oh shit. That's what it is. This person with her ability to be empathetic and her ability to love and her ability to be nurturing, this higher front in reverse is pissed off at this energy because if this person came in contact with anybody that was in this religious sector and they were able to um, see things in a person, see traumas in a person and speak to that trauma, and inspire somebody to actually want to heal shit that's taking me back to the last reading with that person that was slaying all their demons. If that person came in contact with this Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups was able to do something that this religious sector hadn't been able to do in for however long this person was there. And with this blame and the side and sideways, I think that whoever that person was that was healing all those traumas is starting to see that this hierophant in reverse is the reason why they were so discombobulated, why they were so that like they equilibrium was off because they was intentionally doing that shit with the magician card. I only got three, four cards out, three cards out here for this empty card. But when I tell you the energy that I'm getting from this, like this is like a healer. And this person may have inadvertently healed the person from that last reading and all these motherfuckers is big mad. That emperor, he might be a fucking preacher. Oh, my nose is itching so bad. I'm on something with this one. I just saw that damn emperor again too. Him and that damn queen of cups, them, them, them might be the pastors. I'm telling you, like, I would, this is to me like somebody denouncing the church because this is somebody, they standing in a church with the arches. And with that in reverse, like somebody might be moving towards spirituality as opposed to church. And it may be because of this woman. I'm telling you, do. <laughs> Page of swords in the sideways. Now, but it came out earlier in the reverse, which means somebody got some misinformation. But like I said, I feel like somebody is really doing a studying when it comes to knowing, um, and, and when it comes to spirituality. Somebody is is examining something. Somebody is learning. This is in the sideways. This is sideways. So somebody is getting the real information when it comes to this queen of cups and they not blaming her no more. They looking at this religious sector. Confirmation. Yeah, I told you, I feel like somebody studying. I don't know why I feel like I see somebody sitting at a desk. They got books, they online, they researching. I feel like somebody is really delving into divination and they realizing that it's not what these people is not. The higher fin in reverse is not the devil. It's not voodoo. It's not any of those things. It's high. It's vibrating on a higher. Listen, and that's just as this person figuring this shit out is just as yo. How she know? <laughs> Man. That's crazy. We got defeated in reverse. Somebody tried their best to manipulate someone's thoughts and feelings about this Queen of Cups. Give me one more on this. What's this justice spirit? Hmm. Man, I'm telling you, justice is going to be, somebody's going to be heartbroken while somebody else is happy and somebody else is going to be pressed like a motherfucker about that shit because they can't defend their lies that they told about this single 
stable woman that's walking around in this empathetic, loving, childlike energy. Yeah, somebody denouncing the fucking church. I feel like somebody is walking away from this because they realizing that this shit is something dark. They mad at me. <laughs> you big mad boo. Put your cape on. Be super mad. Yeah, somebody's confused there why somebody's uh, letting their ancestors lead them away from this erratic, um, lower vibrational energy. Damn. So, uh, wow, so this queen of cup, listen, I was just finna say it. Y'all see how this card fell in my hand, right? I was just finna say that this person helped heal somebody and helped them balance out their emotions and look what the fuck is in. Listen, <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Temperance. Oh, that is. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> it's gonna make me cry. Spirit. Like why? Cause this is beautiful. Because somebody was going down a wrong road. Man. Somebody was going down a wrong road. Man, somebody was going down the wrong road. <sighs> And they thought they was going down the right road, but it was a lot of people behind the scenes manipulating shit and making a person feel like they was healing, but they was just not. And they was pacifying them with, with money, but inside somebody was broken. And somebody knew that the shit that they was doing to so-called heal people, one eleven on the clock, as I say this, they knew that what they was doing wasn't finna heal nobody. And because you knew that, you're going to read what the fuck you saw around this bitch. You intentionally led somebody astray. And I said something, this, whoever that energy is that is healing all their demons, they came in contact with this empathetic queen of cups with this childlike spirit. And, they, and, and they're researching now. And they're really trying to get the knowledge. Man. Somebody is really getting the knowledge, man, and they balancing themselves. And Spirit said, that's whole fucking truth. This shit over here, man, I, it's a special place. It's a special place for you motherfuckers that is intentionally leading people astray under the guise of religion. It's a special place for you motherfuckers, man. Oh, that is That over there was beautiful. That was beautiful. Shit. Okay, y'all, I'm going to cut it right there. This is some good energy. I damn near want to sit here and read all day, but I got to get out here and uh, chase this paper. <sighs> oh, my God. Thank you, Spirit. I kind of don't even want to return. that. The church energy, can we send that back? Um, The Queen of Cups. Empathy, childlike spirit. I want to carry that with me all day today, spirit, if we can. That fearless love, I want to carry that with me all day today, too. And um, the love connection so powerful that they're not even going to need words. Can I please carry that with me today, spirit? Um, the negative energy, we're going to return that to sender. And then we're going to walk around in all this fearless love today, y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here. I'm so happy. That is That was beautiful. That made up for the ones I had last night. I was over the ones last night in real time. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope this helps someone. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah. That's beautiful. And I hope y'all carry all this love that I pulled in these readings today. Carry that in your spirit today, all right? <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace.